That's right. What's up, Longhorn fans? That was a really solid outing by Texas. We got off to the really fast start that we needed. Um, that first drive, Sam Ellinger was was very sharp, and he he had time and he he got off to the start that he needed. And our defense, I mean, our defense gave up a lot of big plays on the. Opening drive when they got, but when they got in on their opening drive, but when they got inside our our territory, like inside toward our red zone, no, toward our around, like in around our thirty or so, we held them to a field goal attempt and. They missed the field goal. We played Ben but don't break defense and that was huge and um and then the next drive our next drive we we go for it on fourth down. Colin Johnson um has a gets the first down reception but fumbles it. You you can't do that against LSU against teams like LSU and Oklahoma because that that's gonna kill that's gonna waste drives. But defense bailed us out on that one, and then we got the separation we needed, and then our defense just that first half. I mean. I mean, for the first three quarters, our defense held them. Our that was though that was our first string defense. They held them to three to no points, but they gave up a lot of passing yards. But they all but they stiffened when they got inside our thirty-five. And didn't allow and LSU or no Louisiana Tech missed two field goals and that and that was the story. It's not gonna we're not gonna have that luxury we're gonna have a much tougher time against LSU and we're gonna have to we're going to have to play a lot more crisper against LSU. We're going to be tested and it's going to be a really tough game and we're going to have really have to play at our best in order to beat play LSU. We got to we got to see Casey Thompson and um looked okay and uh i mean not not he wasn't on fire but i mean he mainly did handoffs he completed a couple of passes and then got that nail in the coffin touchdown to uh with about with about a minute left to put 45 up I was glad we got to put 45 up to make it a convincing win like I thought we would win by that much. But Ellis, Louisiana Tech's a bad team. They didn't belong on the field with Texas. And, um, um, So, it's official that College Game Day is coming to Austin. That is huge. We have not, that has not happened in a, over a decade. And I, I, that is just, I am just so 
That is, that is just, to have college game day come into Austin is awesome and I, I'm gonna try to be, I have, I have always been saying that whenever college game day comes if college game day ever comes to Austin, I want to be there and I want to try to be in the crowd and see if I can, the camera pans on me on TV. And um, hopefully I'll be able to go to college game day. And uh, y y for those of you who who are um, in the Austin area on Saturday, y'all should go to College Game Day because it's it'll be really fun. I'll try to get to College Game Day, but I'll see if I can go. But it's a really it's gonna really be a crazy atmosphere. And I'm gonna if I go, I'll have to get up really early. And um, but I but I won't be able to go to the game. I, I, those, those tickets, they were sold out, and I've, I've already, I've already got my Longhorn game ticket for Texas Tech on the 29th, and, um, in the absence of anything coming up, I will be in the building on the day after Thanksgiving when they play Texas Tech, so, um, I won't be able to pl see them play LSU, but I hopefully I get to go to college game day and get to be on the crowd and get to be on TV. It's going to be a great week, and it's going to be a great atmosphere Saturday morning on college game day. It's going to be... It's going to be a crazy atmosphere Saturday night in Austin when LSU comes to town. Now we can start talking about LSU. Hook'em horns and Texas fight.